Hello, so welcome to week two of our unit on money. We are going to continue to recognise and use symbols for pounds and pence. We're going to be combining amounts to make a particular value. Finding different combinations of coins that equal the same amounts of money and solve simple problems in a practical context involving addition and subtraction of money, including giving change. So today we are going to be comparing money. So you will show me that you can compare amounts of money. You will also show that you can compare amounts using greater than, less than, or equals to. They're the inequality signs. And even use problem solving and reasoning skills to solve problems. So the first task is to identify the greatest amount in each group. That word greatest means the biggest amount. So you need to count each of the boxes and then try and remember which one is the box with the greatest amount. So we've got 20 P's, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. If your memory is a little bit rubbish like mine, you can always write the amount in the box or above the box just to help you remember. In this next box, we are counting in jumps of five because we have the 5p coins. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we have 50p. And again, if you want to help you remember, you can just write that amount down to help you remember how much is there. Moving on to the next box, we've got a 50p and a 10p. So 50 add 10 is 60p. There's 60p in this box here. And then we've got our last box where we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70p and we're counting in tens so this one's got 70p in which has the biggest the greatest amount in each group it is these 20p's here okay let's have a look at the middle row so here we've got a 50p a 50p and a 50p and I don't know if you remember from last time we were talking about how 250p's equals a pound. So here we've got one pound, excuse my writing, and 50 pence. Okay, let's have a look in the next box. We've got one pound, two pound, three pounds. Now, Remember, when we're writing the pounds, the pound sign goes in front of the number, but then when we write with the pence, the P goes after the number. Let's have a look at the next box. So this is our two pound coin. We've got two 20p coins and two 5p coins. So we've got two pounds and 20 pence, two pounds and 40 pence, 2 pounds and 45 pence, 2 pounds and 50 pence. So I'm going to write that to help me remember, remembering my pound signed at the beginning. So I've got 2 pounds and 50 pence. And let's just have a look in that last box for me. It is a two pound coin all on its own. So we just have a two pound. So which box now is showing the greatest amount? Let's check your answer. 
it is this second box with three pounds in well done okay looking at the last one so be careful we've made to count the amount and the value of the coins not the number of coins so let's have a look in this first box here we've got two pounds and two pounds which gives us a total of four pounds let's look in the second box We've got one two three four five we've got five pounds let's look in the third box one two three we've got three pounds now let's look in this box we've got two four six there is six pound in this box so which box shows the greatest amount it is the six pound well done so now we need to look really carefully at what we're being asked to do because we are being asked to identify the least amount in each group so this is the opposite of what we were doing last time so this is the box that shows us the least amount so the smallest value of the coins so if we have a look at the box we've got 20 40 60 80 we've got 80 pence okay so i'm putting that 80 with that penny sign afterwards have a look at the next one 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 this time we have 50 pence and again I'm just going to write it to help me remember because by the time I've done all this adding I can get very forgetful have a look at the next box we've got our 50p and 10p 50p add 10 is 60 pence so we've got 60 pence in this box here and let's have a look at the last box 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 there's 70 pence in that last box there which box has the least amount in which has the smallest value of coins it is the 50p well done looking at the next one so can you remember what i said about a 50p and a 50p added together what does it total it totals one pound and what do we have left we have a 50 pence left so we've got one pound and 50 pence okay let's count these we've got one pound two pounds three pounds so the value there is three pounds two pounds two pounds twenty two pounds forty two pound forty five add five is two pounds and fifty pence and the value of this last coin here is two pounds so which box has the least amount in its group it is that first box with one pound and fifty pence okay moving on to the last one we're still looking for the least amount so we've got a two pound coin add a two pound coin what's two add two it gives us four pounds now we've got five one pound coins what is the total amount of five one pound coins it is five pounds 
Now here I've got three one pound coins. What's the total value there? One, two, three, it's three pounds. And this final box, we've got three two pound coins. So three twos, two, four, six. So we've got six pound. Which box is showing the least amount? It is, it's the three pounds. So now we're going to be thinking about comparing these amounts. We did look at this last week. So we've got 10p, add 10p, add 10p. And the total value of those is 30 pence. And again, I always find it helpful to write those numbers. Then on the other side, we're counting in fives. You can see they're five P coins. We've got five, 10, 15, 20. That's 20 pence. And again, always write it so you can remember. So 30 pence is greater than 20 pence. Or is it 30 pence is less than 20 pence? Which one of these, greater than or less than, do you think would make that correct? Good, so 30 pence is greater than 20 pence. You say that? Okay, moving on. Here we have two 20p's are greater than 50 pence. Or is it two 20p's? are less than 50 pence. So let's work out the value. 20p add 20p equals 40p. And then on this side, just in case you're not sure, we have got our 50 pence. So which is correct? Is 40 pence greater than 50 pence? Or is 40 pence less than 50 pence? 40 pence is less than 50 pence. You say it. Now we're going to be using those symbols. Remember what we said last week about that open end is always pointing to the biggest number because it's hungry. So again, we need to do exactly the same. We need to look at the coins we need to look at the value and the amount on either side and then put the correct sign, inequality sign, in the middle here. So we've got three 10 P's, 10, 20, 30. I'm going to write that underneath or above, it doesn't matter where. I've got 30 pence. Now I'm counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, I've got 20 pence. Remembering my signs, the open mouth is going to be at the bigger number. Which way is it going to go? 30 pence is greater. Look at that sign, the open mouth is towards the bigger number. 20 pence. Okay, we've got a 20p and a 20p. So 20p, 40p is something 50p. So is 40p greater than or less than 50p? Which way is that symbol going to go? Good, the open mouth is going towards the 50p because it's a greater amount. So 40 pence is less than 50 pence. So here we have some word problems. Who has the most and who has the least? How do you know? So Beth says, I have 10 pounds. 
Gina says, I have 10 pence. So first of all, who has the most amount of money? It is Beth. So therefore, who has the least amount of money? It is Gina because Gina has 10p. Now, how do you know? Beth's amount is in pounds where Gina's is in pence. And I know that £10 is more than 10p. So that's how we're going to explain those answers. OK, so your activities today, um, we're going to be looking at the greatest amount and you will be doing exactly as we were doing on the um, in the presentation. So I would suggest that you take your pencil, look at this first box here. You see it's a 50 pence, so we're going to write 50 pence. And then we have our two 20 pence, so 20 pence, that 20 pence is 40 pence. We've got three 10 pences, 10, 20, 30, so we have 30 pence. And in the last box, we're going to count in fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 pence. Now, remember, we're looking for the box that shows the greatest amount, which is, it is the 50 pence. So I would, rather than colouring it in, I would do a nice circle around it. OK, then you're going to be looking at boxes that show the least amount. All right, remember to really look out for the words because this is where they could get wrong. So we're going to do exactly the same. We've got a 50 pence, a two pence, that's 52, plus another two is 54. Add one, we've got 55 pence. Sorry about the writing. These are all which coin? They are all 20p, so we've got 20p, 40p, 60p, 80p. And looking in this next box where we've got 10p coins, we've got one, two, three of those. So what's three times 10? It is 30p. And then looking in this last box, we've got 50p add 10p. So 50 add 10 is 60. Add 2 is 62 pence. So looking at those, which box shows the least amount? It is this 30p here. So again, I would be circling that box there. Then we're going on to carry on with what we did in the rest of the lesson. We're going to be using that greater than, less than or equal to sign to compare the amounts. So do exactly the same. You're going to be counting how many, what's the value of the coins on this side. So we've got a two pound coin and a two pound coin. So two add two equals four pounds. And then on the other side, we've got one pound coins. We've got one, two three, four, five, the value is five pounds. And we're going to say, right, four pound is less than five pounds. So remembering that that sign needs to be pointing open to the biggest number. So we've got four pound is less than five pounds. You say that? Okay. Good luck, I hope it goes well, and I will speak to you tomorrow.